what are the nasopharynx features what are the features in the nasopharynx this is the uh, cavity of the this is the nasopharynx we can see here this is the, this is the base of the skull upper boundary and this is the soft palate and this is the nasopharynx we will find the first the nasopharyngeal tonsil nasopharyngeal tonsil or pharyngeal tonsil another name is the adenoid adenoid at the base of the skull also we will find the auditory tube اللي هو الاوستيكن اوستيكن tube اللي هو قناة اوستاكي فتحة قناة اوستاكي auditory tube also it is in the nasopharynx uh, also we have the presence of the tubal elevation tubal elevation اللي هو هذا هو حافة the auditory tube that is formed of cartilage it causes elevation so we call it tubal elevation behind this elevation we have uh, what we call a pharyngeal recess اللي هو جيب and semi in fossa of rosin molar pharyngeal recess behind the tubal elevation called fossa of rosin molar and we have the salpingo pharyngeal fold salpingo pharyngeal fold had the fold formed by the salpingo pharyngeus muscle salpingo pharyngeus muscle it emitted in the auditory tube down to the pharynx salpingo pharyngeal fold so these are the features that are found in the nasopharynx. First, nasopharyngeal or pharyngeal tonsils, or semi adenoid, the auditory tube, second tube, with the tubal elevation, the pharyngeal recess, the semina fossa of Rosenmuller, and the salpingopharyngeal fold that is formed by the salpingopharyngeal muscle. عندنا الشيء المهم هنا انه اتصال النيزوفارينكس with the tympanic cavity tympanic cavity يعني هذا هو ال opening of the nasopharynx or the osteocene tube here it is continuous through the osteocene tube to the middle ear يعني مع الاذن الوسطى اللي هو او اللي هي tympanic cavity لذلك هذا انه if there is a problem in the nasopharynx here it will become continuous يعني راح تنتقل عندنا المشكلة للميدل اير بسبب هذا الاتصال هذه هي اللي قلنا عنها الادينويد او الفارنجيال تونسلز that is situated below the base of the skull in the nasopharynx what are the pharyngeal tonsils or another name is the adenoid this uh, it is a collection of lymphoid tissue يعني تجمع لنسيج لمفي طبعا هو يعني it have an immune function عنده وظيفة مناعية وجوده in the submucosa in the submucosa of the roof of the nasopharynx when it get enlarged إذا صار بإنلارجمت هذا هو تشوفون أنه قربة على الأوستيكين تيوب when it enlarged it will causes nasal obstruction اعتيادي أو المشكلة راح يسوونه هي nasal obstruction انسداد بالأنف والأوستيكين تيوب obstruction انسداد القناة أوستاكي أوستيكين تيوب obstruction وبالتالي راح يأثر لنا على الميدل إير، so it will causes middle ear problem. Now the next to the nasopharynx down oropharynx. You know why we call this part of the pharynx oropharynx because it's situated behind the oral cavity, behind the mouth. So what are the boundaries? Anteriorly is the oral cavity. Roof. Is the soft palate and the floor the floor is formed by the posterior one-third of the tongue uh, lateral wall palatine we have the palatine tonsils with its pillars but in the lateral wall we have the palatine tonsil with its pillar well posterior wall the posterior wall and no second and third cervical vertebra second and third cervical vertebra so this is the what we call the oropharynx. Anteriorly oral cavity. Superiorly is the soft palate. The floor is the posterior one third of the tongue. Lateral wall we will find the palatine tonsil with its pillars. The posterior wall second and third cervical vertebra. 
هذا هو التونغ هذا this is the posterior one third of the tongue اللي هو راح يسوينه the floor of the oropharynx oropharynx floor of the oropharynx احنا نشوف عندنا هنا كامتداد the posterior one third of the tongue we have this fold هذا واحدة in the midline we called it median glosso epiglottic fold glosso it means related to the tongue gloss epiglottis this is the epiglottis اللي هو هذا لسان المزمار اللي هو نسميه الإبيجلوتس. So this fold in between is called the glossoepiglottic fold, median glossoepiglottic fold. And we have two lateral, lateral glossoepiglottic fold. So median glossoepiglottic fold and two lateral glossoepiglottic fold. In between these fold, we have these uh, depressed uh, fossa that is called vallicula. It's called Valicula, or it is called epiglottic valicula. This is a depressed area that is situated in between the base of the tongue and the epiglottis, surrounded by the palato uh, glosso epiglottic fold. Glosso epiglottic fold. The floor of the oropharynx. So in the lateral wall of the oropharynx, we have uh, what we call the palatoglossal, palatoglossal and palatophalangeal arches. Each arch is a mucosal fold that is overlies the corresponding muscle. They start at the high arch, below it, or they start at the high fold, below it there is a muscle. takes the, name, the same name اللي هي اسمها نفس الاسم يعني هنا عندي اكو بلاتو جلوسال مسل ات فورم ذا بلاتو جلوسال فولد او ارش وعندي هنا بلاتو فارنجيال مسل ذات فورم بلاتو فارنجيال فولد او ارش ذا انترفال ان بتوين ذا تو بلاتو جلوسال ارشز is called the oropharyngeal isthmus and marks the boundary between the mouth and the pharynx يعني And then we have the right palatoglossal fold and the left. Hi, Nana and the right. على الجهة left. In between them, راح تسوين the boundary. It be in between the oral cavity and the oropharynx. In between these two arches, there is what we call the palatine tonsils. Here, the lower tongue. Palatine tonsils are a collection of lymphoid tissue تجمع لنسيج لمفي that occupies the tonsil fossa. هذا the depressed area in between palatoglossal arch and the palatopharyngeal arch is called palatine fossa that is occupied by موجود عندنا هنا palatine tonsils اللي هي لوزتين. Tonsillar fossa lies in between these palatoglossal arch fold anteriorly and the palatopharyngeal arch posteriorly. Palatine tonsil, its floor, the floor of the fossa, يعني lateral wall is the lower part of the superior constrictor. موجود عندنا هنا المصل اللي هي laterally موجودة superior constrictor. سوينا the floor of the fossa or the lateral wall. The medial surface here is covered by a pharyngeal mucosa. The lateral surface is covered by fibrous tissue which forms the tonsillar hemi capsule. Tonsillar هيمي كابسول يعني من بعد ال superior constrictor here we have a type of fibrous tissue that is called tonsillar hemi capsule. Neurovascular supply of the tonsils arterial طبعا نقول عندنا tonsillar branch or facial artery هذا هو المين blood supply. Venous drainage كان شوفنا عندنا هنا موجود عندنا venous plexus of veins والnervous Supply to this area is through glossopharyngeal nerve, which is the ninth cranial nerve. Lymphatic drainage of the tonsils to the deep cervical lymph node to the group we call the tonsillar or jugulo-digastric lymph node at the angle of the mandible, deep to the angle of the mandible. In the next slide, we call it the Waldeyer's ring. Ring. It means a معناها حلقة. Waldeyer's ring. This is a ring of lymphoid tissue. 
that surround the beginning of the respiratory and the digestive system. So what is Waldeyer's ring? It is a ring of lymphoid tissue, ring of lymphoid tissue that is formed by the pharyngeal palatine and lingual tonsil. Surround the opening, surround the opening into the respiratory and digestive system. And you hear the middle respiratory with digestive system. It is formed by superiorly موجود عندنا pharyngeal tonsil superiorly and palatine tonsil with tubal tonsil laterally and inferiorly موجود عندي lingual tonsil lingual tonsil مثل ما يعني هنا أنا موجود مثل ما تعرفون أو إذا أخذتوا بالهيستولوجي posterior one third of the tongue have uh, lymphoid tissue collection of lymphoid tissue called lingual tonsil في بمجموعها راح تسوينا فت حلقة راح نسميها wild dyer's ring الغرض من هذه الحلقة أنه تحيطنا بمدخل ال respiratory and digestive system وطبعا وظيفتها هي الحماية against bacteria and viruses The last part of our lecture is the laryngopharynx laryngopharynx This is the part of the pharynx that is related to the larynx here extend from the upper end or upper border of the epiglottis هذا هو الإبيجلوتس هذا الإبيجلوتس اللي هو يعني it is protective to the cavity of the larynx عند هذه حمينا فتحة الحنجرة أثناء عملية ابتلاع اللقمة أو شرب الماء Extend from the upper border of the epiglottis down to the level of the cricoid cartilage at the sixth cervical vertebra. It lies behind. هذا اللي هو نانا باللون السمائي. It lies behind the opening of the larynx. كان شوف هنا نحدود the laryngopharynx. It extends from the upper border of the epiglottis here down. To the level of the six cervical vertebrae, اللي هو the cricoid cartilage, it lies behind the opening of the larynx. The lateral wall, its lateral wall here, this is its lateral wall, is formed by the thyroid cartilage and thyroid membrane, and we have what we call two fossae, two fossae, that is called the piriform fossae. هذا البيروفون فوسا this depressed area is a depression in the mucous membrane on each side of the laryngeal inlet هذا هو laryngeal inlet يعني مدخل larynx مدخل الحنجرة on both sides we have these two فوسا اللي نسميها بيروفون فوسا so it is a depression in the mucous membrane on each side of the laryngeal inlet we call it بيروفون فوسا Now we come to the nerve supply of the pharynx. We have mainly we have three cranial nerves that supply the pharynx. The upper part, the nasopharynx, is supplied by the trigeminal nerve, اللي هو العصب الخامس, by its my maxillary division, اللي هو V2. هذا راح يكون الفunction مالته sensory. The oropharynx is supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve, اللي هو العصب التاسع, ninth cranial nerve. هذا راح يكون motor and sensory. Motor, it is motor to the stylopharyngeus muscle and sensory to the oropharynx. And sensory the posterior one third of the tongue and the oropharynx. And at the laryngopharynx, the lower part, it is supplied by the vagus nerve, which is the tenth cranial nerve, the muscle, the cuffy, the ashar, with a branch that is called internal laryngeal branch. It will be the motor and sensory. It is motor to all of the muscle of the uh, pharynx and it is sensory to the area of the laryngopharynx. Now, for the most part, we will say that the pharyngeal plexus. How the pharyngeal plexus? It is formed by this nerve, which is the carnage, just the glossopharyngeal and the vagus, not the uh, trigeminal. Pharyngeal plexus is lies on the middle pharyngeal constrictor. It is formed by pharyngeal branches of glossopharyngeal vagus nerve 
إضافة إلى sympathetic branches from the superior cervical ganglia. إذن راح تشترك بي الجلوسوفارنجيال فيجاس و sympathetic branches from the superior cervical ganglia راح تطين sympathetic fiber. All the muscle of the pharynx is supplied by the vagus nerve except of the stylopharyngeus that is supplied by the glossopharyngeal nerve. هذا الرسم يوضح لنا هنا انه how the nasopharynx اللي هو the upper part of the pharynx is supplied by the maxillary division اللي هو ال V2 maxillary division of trigeminal nerve يكون sensory وبقية ال oropharynx وال laryngopharynx is supplied by the glossopharyngeal and vagus nerve glossopharyngeal اللي هو العصب التاسع وشوف هنا شلون منطيني branches لل oropharynx منطي branch للعضل اللي هي هنا نسميها stylopharyngeus والبرانش اللي هو من فيجاس نيرف اللي هو نسميه الانترنال لارينجيال برانش انترنال لارينجيال نيرف ذات سبلاي ذا ميوكوزا اوف لارينجو فارينكس هذا هو اللارينجو فارينكس وامتداده من الابر بوردر اوف ذا ابيجلوتس داون تو ذا كريكويد كارتيليج What is the blood supply to the pharynx is by branches from the external carotid artery. بهذا الرسم قاعد نشوف هذا هو common carotid artery. This is the internal carotid and this is the external carotid. From the external carotid artery, we it will give branches that supply the pharynx. We can see these arteries. This is the lingual artery, facial artery, ascending pharyngeal branch. Or ascending pharyngeal artery, ascending pharyngeal artery is a branch also from the external carotid, and for a branch from the maxillary artery. All these branches will supply the pharynx. Also, it will give uh, blood to supply the tonsil. So we can uh, we can memorize them. And we can remember them from these words. Love father and mother. Love for lingual, father for facial, and for ascending pharyngeal artery, and mother M for the maxillary artery. All these arteries are branches from the external carotid artery. What is the lymphatic drainage of the pharynx? Is to the directly into the deep cervical lymph nodes. Hi, much more lymph nodes. Here, it will be deep to the external to the sternocleidomastoid. نسميها deep cervical lymph node will drain lymph from the pharynx or indirectly via another lymph node اللي هي retropharyngeal نسميها retropharyngeal paratracheal اللي هي بالنتيجة همينة it will drain into the deep cervical nodes آخر جزء من محاضرتنا اليوم هو تكملة للفارنغ مثل ما تعرفون أنه البلعوم راح يستمر عندنا بتركيب ثاني اللي هو also it is a muscular tube which is the esophagus اللي هو المريء the esophagus it is a muscular tube about 10 inch 25 centimeter in length it extends from the pharynx to the stomach it begins at the level of the cricoid cartilage in the neck opposite the body of six cervical vertebrae It commences in the midline. يعني بدايته تقريبا راح يكون بالmidline. But as it descends through the neck, it will inclines to the left. It will inclines to the left. يعني راح ينحرف إلى الجهة اليسار. اللي همنا هنا نعم الاسفاجيل relation. هذا هو الاسفاجيل which is a muscular tube. Anteriorly it is related to the trachea. هذه هي trachea. These are the two recurrent laryngeal nerve. طبعاً recurrent laryngeal nerve. These are branches from the vagus. On each side, it will run in a groove. في الأخدود هنا نه in between the trachea and esophagus. Both these structures are anterior. قاعد شوف هنا نه عندي posteriorly here. هذا اللي هو باللون الأخضر أو باللون البرتقالي هنا نه. Posteriorly the prevertebral layer of deep cervical fascia. والمصل موجود عندي هنا نه longus coli. وموجود عندي ال vertebral column اللي هو العمود الفقري. All these structures are posterior. بعد عندي laterally here laterally to the esophagus we can see that the, on each side the thyroid gland here this is the thyroid gland and the 
carotid sheath carotid sheath طبعا containing internal carotid artery و internal jugular vein و vagus nerve so the esophagus have anterior relation posterior relation and it have lateral relation هذه في الصورة الثانية أوضح تراويني ال anterior relation هنا هنا التراكيا و recurrent laryngeal nerve lateral relation موجودة عندي هنا ال common carotid artery و internal jugular vein in the carotid sheath with the vagus nerve and posteriorly we have what we call the pre-vertebral layer of fascia with the longest collie muscle اللي هي pre-vertebral muscle خلينا نقول longest collie muscle with the vertebral column العمود الفقري What is the blood and nerve supply to the esophagus? Uh, to the esophagus, we have the esophageal branches of inferior thyroid artery in the neck, blood supply. The nerve القريبة هنا على الأسفيجس هي two recurrent laryngeal nerve. هذه اللي هي ملتفة أو صاعدة. وعندي أيضا the sympathetic nerve. So, يعني راح يكون left and right recurrent laryngeal nerve و left and right sympathetic trunks. يعني راح يكون ال recurrent laryngeal nerve parasympathetic و sympathetic current will give sympathetic fiber to supply the esophagus. What is the venous drainage is to the inferior thyroid veins to the brachiocephalic trunk and the lymphatic drainage lymphatic drainage is to the deep cervical lymph nodes. That is all about our lecture, which is the important subject, the pharynx. It is important to use it in the ENT, ear, nose, and the throat. Thank you very much.